All right, welcome back to TuneHype.com, where we talk about music and artist development. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. All right, let's talk about value, how to build value in your music brand and what that really means. In this video, we're going to talk about um, things like, you know, building fan bases and just, um, you know, finding ways to make yourself more valuable to everyone else. Because as an artist, you are building still a brand here and you are your own brand. Um... You remember that line in Jay Z's song? Where he says, "I'm not a, uh, I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Let me handle my business." Damn. So, in that line, he's saying that I'm, I'm, I'm not a business man. Like a business man who goes to work every day, wears a suit. That's a business man. Um, he, you know, promotes his business and stuff like that. Has a lot of companies, stuff like that. That's a business man. A business. I'm a business man. That's like saying I'm actual business. I am a business. I'm Jay Z the business. I'm Jay Z LLC. I'm Jay Z Inc. And that's what he meant. So to be Jay Z the business, what is the difference between you know running music like a business, but then or making your music the business? And so for the most part, um, in all business, the 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 idea of a business and the idea of business in a sense, from what I understand. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And you can drop a comment below if you think that I'm not don't know what I'm talking about or whatever. Oh, I, I don't I don't you know, feedback is amazing. So if you guys want to say, nah, Neff, you don't know what you're talking about. Just let me know if a business, the, the main point of a business is to build value and you're trying to create value within your business so that you can then deliver that value to your customers. If this is a business. So a business wants to then um, you know, build value within itself. Once it has something valuable, something well, something that can be sold or um, a service that can be offered that is valuable to customers who have money to buy it, then people are going to come pay for that service because that's value. There's, there's a value in that. So in order to make money in business, you have to have value. You have to have something of value to sell to someone else or you can't make money. And once I learned that, you know, when I was younger and I learned that, I was like, oh, OK, so I just have to have I just have to have value. Now, when you go to work and, you know, you go work at a regular job, you're actually adding value to that company every day. Every time you get up and go to work, you're adding value to that company, not to yourself necessarily, but to them. And the reason I'm saying you're not adding value to yourself is because all you're doing is making a paycheck and then paying your bills. And that's not adding any value. That's just maintaining bills. But to add value to yourself would be to, I don't know, go buy a house or, you know, build a car, get a get an old car, fix it up and turn it into uh, a hot rod. That's that's adding value to a, a car that was only, you know, 500 bucks and now it's worth 5000. That's adding value. Um, so how can you do that with music? So you take you take you, you start off with nothing. Your net worth is zero. You go get a studio equipment, computer and stuff like that. Now you have a little bit of value. And then with that computer, you start to um, engineer, you know, audio engineer and make and create music. Each song you make is worth something. So the computer, which was, you know, $1,500, two or $3,000 for the studio. You got a house, which was, you know, uh, 10, 15,000 if you buy one in Detroit. <laughs> I don't know you guys probably like, what? It's all that costs? Yeah. If you buy a house in Detroit, you're going to spend... 10, 15,000. That's it. So you got a 10, 15,000 dollar house. You got a studio. So that's the value you have right now. How can you become more valuable? Well, every time you make a new song, that is value. Every new song you make that actually sounds good, might I add, <laughs> that you get mastered and stuff like that. And you have that in your library. Each one particular song is now valuable to what to what degree you ask. Well, we're going to get to that. So now you got one song and now let's say you make 20 songs. Now you got a whole 20 songs. You pick out 12 or 14 of these and that becomes an album. Now you have an album. You have, you know, 20 songs. Now you have an album and you have eight more songs you didn't use. So you can make those singles and you can do placements with those. And there's lots of things you can do. And let's say you decide, eh, I'm going to make 80 more songs. So now you got 100 songs all together. So now that you have 80 songs, you're making more value. But how much is these songs worth? As of right now, there's no there's no actual value added to the songs yet because we haven't gotten a response from people to find out what these songs are worth. 
So your songs aren't worth anything yet because they're just intellectual property sitting in your computer on a disc. But we're going to change that in a few minutes. Just stick around so I can tell you how. So now you're making songs. Your studio in your house, like I said, is only worth $15,000, $2,000, $20,000. Um, but you got 100 songs recorded. So now you have just created value, but we have no idea how to appraise that value. So how do we appraise that value? How do we find out how valuable you truly are now at this particular time? So you take the song, one of the songs, the best song out of the 100 songs, or let's say you go sit down with a team of DJs and these DJs listening to all your 100 songs. This is before you let the public hear it. You let the DJs hear it. The DJs are like, oh, OK, you know what? I like this one, this one and this one. OK, so you got three songs. They're not going to sit there and listen to 100 songs. Trust me. They just you just pick out what you think is the best of your favorite songs and then let them hear 10 of them and then they'll pick out three. Just be clear. You're not going to take them 100 songs. But out of the 100 songs you do have. You pick out your favorite 10 and then you take your favorite 10 and they'll pick out three or two or one or, or none, depending on if your music just sucks. But if your music is great, then pick out three or four or five or six. And blow. I like all of these. So if they like those songs, two or three of them, and they say, I can play this one. I like the song. Let's see what happens if I play this on the radio. You know, if I play this. OK, let's say, for instance, they now play it on the radio. And now we're getting the feedback from lots of people who are saying, oh, I love that song. OK, so. You got 20,000 people across three or four different cities that love that song, and that song is slapping. I mean, they want to hear it. They want to go to the club, dance to it. Now everybody's requesting that song. Now, because of that, the DJs are saying, yo, you got a hit record here, bro. This is a good song. Okay, now the value just went up. What, what did it go up to? Well, we still kind of don't know, do we? But there's a value here. The song is sought after. Now you got people coming. So let me show you how the value is made. All up until that point right there, there's still no value because there's still no money being made. I mean, the money is being made on Spotify. The money is being made on CD Baby or TuneCore or Sony, wherever you, whoever you distributed it through. But what's the value of the song? So let's say a song makes you ten dollars to $15,000 because that many people bought the song or listened to the song. And that's how many uh, royalties you made in the first quarter of the year. Now you know what the song is worth. It's worth $15,000 in the first quarter of the year. And over the course of the rest of the year, whatever that song is worth over the course of the next couple months, that's what the song is worth. It's worth whatever you made. And that that kind of gives appraisal to the other songs to say, well, the other songs might actually be worth the same amount, but not necessarily. Some songs might come out to be not worth as much just because you made one really good song doesn't mean that the other songs are going to be worth the same amount as that one. So you can't just appraise the other songs that way. So where else can we get value from? Because in order to become rich, you have to have a net worth. And your net worth is everything you have and own minus your debts. So if you don't have any debt and you got a house in Detroit, you got a studio and you got 100 songs and one of them is worth 15000 or 20000 to make the numbers easy. Let's just say you have no debt. You just broke out of debt because you have no debt. It's your house. You got one song worth 15000 So you're worth 15000 That's how much you're worth. That's how much your music brand is worth. Now you made a Twitter account and you made a... YouTube account, okay? And out of all these people listening to your stuff, you start getting followers for free. And these fr these followers come to follow you because they want to hear your music. You didn't even follow anyone. All you did was made a page, they started following you. Every single American follower that follows your page is worth $2.50, I believe. So $2.50, but let's just call it $2 for the sake of getting the numbers right. So $2 a hit, you end up with 1,000 followers. Well, to Twitter and to everybody else, that's two, uh, that's two thousand dollars. A thousand followers is two dollars a piece, so that's two thousand dollars. That's how much you're now worth again. So your value just went up. Your fifteen thousand just went up to seventeen thousand. Um, and let's say you got another ten thousand because you made a video. You made it. You shot. Okay, so now you shot a music video. Your music video goes on YouTube. It does a million views. Okay. The million views got you thirty five hundred dollar check from YouTube. Wow, you made a big check. Where's your value now? Well, now that original song that was only worth 15000 is now 18500 because now it was 15000 plus the 3500 that you made from the video. Is the other songs going to be worth that? Who knows? But it's just that now you got 10,000 subscribers from the million views. Wow. So now your 10,000 followers that followed the channel on YouTube is worth $2 a head too to YouTube. So now you got $20,000 worth of followers on YouTube. 
that adds to your eighteen thousand five hundred dollars um, in music plus the two thousand dollar Twitter, which is so. Let's just call that twenty thousand five hundred plus. You just made uh, twenty thousand in followers, so now you're worth forty thousand. Just like that, <laughs> you're probably wondering, like, huh? Yes, it works just like that, guys. Because you're probably wondering, like, how can Nicki Minaj and Drake and all these people be worth so much money? I'm telling you exactly how. Look at this. You're worth that much money. You, you have a house is yours. Your studio is yours. And on paper, you have all these followers that are worth $2 a piece. And you have one song you released. And you still got 99 more songs you haven't even put out yet. And you had one go a million views. And you had one song on the radio. And it made you such and such royalties. You haven't even got the check yet. But now you see where your value is at. Value is this right here. You're building value just like that. Now you go perform a show. You get booked for 10 shows, each paying $1,000 a piece. Each show pays $1,000. That just meant that that all because of one song. So that one song is now worth another $10,000 on top of the 40. So now you're worth $50,000 off of one song. Because now you finna go get a thousand dollars here, thousand dollars there, thousand, 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 thousand. But don't stop there. You make some merch, right? T-shirts, hats. You make a bunch of things. You sell a hundred of them. Um, let's say you sell ten to fifteen, twenty shirts per show. So if you get, if you get, in, uh, let's just say you sell ten and then you sell them for ten dollars. You made, you made, uh, you're making, you know, a hundred bucks per show. Or you say if you make a thousand dollars a show, you're making another ten thousand. Now you're worth sixty thousand. So that just means you, you actually sold a hundred items for ten dollars. Sorry. Um so now you got another now you're worth, you know, sixty thousand. All right. Now you got somebody who wants to do a song with you because they heard your song and they loved it. Now they're willing to pay for collaboration. Okay, now you made another five thousand dollars in collaboration. Now you're worth sixty five thousand dollars. And then last but not least, it gets even more fun. You get you get a placement, right? You get a placement that, that's going to get you $15,000 because the placement plays you on some type of movie or TV show off this one song. So your 65 just became 80000 And then last but not least, you get a sponsorship from Nike or somebody who wants you to do a commercial and they're going to pay you twenty five. dollars They're going to pay you $20,000. Just keep the math easy. You get $20,000. Boom, you made hundred grand all together off one song. So what's the value of your company now? Well, you're worth 100 grand off of one song. So that just means if you put out nine more, you're going to be worth a million, right? Nah, not necessarily. But it's just that you see how that value is built all because you did every step and every step brought value to you. Now, a lot of people don't know that. They just figure, well, I'm not getting any money right now. And since I don't have any money right now, you know, I'm upset. I want to get more money. Well, that's the reason why you have to keep working, because if you keep working, you'll build value. And as you build value, someone's going to see that value. Imagine a record label sees this value of that person who already has about 100 grand in value. And if you do 10, 4, 5, 4, 6, 7 songs, whatever, how many songs you do, you might not have got all those things to work at the same time. That was just a, you know analogy. But the fact of the matter is if you get all this stuff to happen, your value goes up. So once your value is up, and you kind of got an idea of what you're worth of one song. Now you can just times that by, you can just take half of that or even a quarter of that. As long as you try harder on every song, you're going to keep making that same type of value, or at least somewhere similar. Um, every time you get more subscribers, you, you now you know how many subscribers you got, how much you're worth in that arena, how many followers you got, you know how much that's worth. And then how much money you can get out of each of your subscribers. That's up to you. So I usually think of it as this. I got a million dollar painting that I have inherited and it's sitting on my raw in my bedroom. I can't sell it because it's an heirloom. It's, it's worth too much to my family's sentimental value. So if I got a million dollar painting that's worth, you know, say five million dollars, I'm worth five million dollars. But I have no money in my pocket. I'm completely broke. I can't even buy some chips. I can't even pay my rent. But I got a five million dollar photo on my wall. Now, I can't like sell that, like I said, because my granddaddy gave it to me. All right. So if I got a five million dollar painting, but I can't sell it, what do we do? We're stuck. And so I'm going to leave a you know, I'm going to I'm going to leave a poll at the top and the top. Right. Would you sell it or would you keep it? Like, what do you do? OK. And then I'm going to tell you the answer. All right. So all right, just give you a few more seconds and right, so make sure you answer that poll question. All right. So here we go. Finally, this is what you do. So at some point I decide to be smart and take this photo. I'm sorry, the portrait. And I take my painting to 
a museum and we hang it on the wall and rent my port my my, my um my painting to the museum they're gonna pay me to showcase my painting on their wall now i'm getting thousand here a thousand there and we're getting all kinds of offers from people who want to buy it but i'm never going to sell it so now i'm making any revenue from the painting even though i haven't sold it and even though i haven't done anything with it now i put insurance on it and it's sitting on a wall and it's worth five million somebody steals my painting i get a check Something happens, I get a check, but I never sold it. I'm not going to just, you know, and that's what you got to look at your music. You can't sell your Twitter. You can't sell your YouTube channel. You can't sell any of that stuff. It's a painting. It's your art. It's your music. You don't sell it. It's only worth some money if someone licenses it from you and plays it on movies, TV, radio stations and stuff like that. So you're going to make money from your million dollar painting, your music, which is your art form. Right. And then that's how you make a living, guys. And you can take that money and go make you some more paintings or you can go take that money and invest it in other things and make you some money. But you never sell your painting because that's your value. That's where the value is at. So you build that value yourself by creating the art. And I hope this whole video is so informative. I hope my whole analogy wasn't too crazy, it doesn't confuse you. But that's exactly what I feel like music is. You're building value within yourself. You're building the value by building up a follow, getting more shows, you know, getting seen and everything like that. And you best, you're also building a, you're building a value by smashing that subscribe button and that like button <laughs> so you can help this channel grow. But anyway, if you guys like that video, I'm telling you, let me know in the comments below. Are you building value in your music? Are you guys like seeing that this is all it is and you're worth however much you want to be worth based on how much work you put in? So wouldn't it make sense if you wanted to be a millionaire to just make about four or five hundred songs? What about a thousand? I mean, if you made a thousand songs, if you stayed in the studio, bought a house and made a thousand songs, what would you be worth? You just put one song out at a time. You run around doing that. And I'm telling you, you're, you're worth a lot of money now. You got so much intellectual property. What if a producer could make a million, a million songs, a million beats, uh, you know, a, a thousand beats? How much is he worth? He's worth whatever the beats are worth. Even if he gave them away for 50 bucks, 300 bucks, but you're not giving them away. You're licensing them to be used in other people's projects. But for the most part, build value just like that, guys. You have to build that value. And when you build up your value, you're going to be worth more and more and more every day. You're going to start to fall in love with your brand. And other people are going to see the value of you when they, when they, you know, they hear your music and stuff like that. And then they're going to say, okay, this guy is really valuable. I like this guy. And that's when the record label is going to come like, oh, we see the value. We're going to cut a check because you're worth this to us. And we want to make more money with that. And that's how you get that big bucks, man. And that's how you get that value. And that's what you're worth. You're worth whatever the work you put in, guys. And so that's my situation to you. That's the, that, I mean, that's the way I look at it to you guys. I wanted you guys to see it that way. I don't know if you do. Tell me below in the comments how you think value is made in music um, and how you have been able to make value for yourself. All right. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video off. It's super duper long, but I'm going to talk to you guys later. All right, guys. Peace.